Another day, another Indian scam. That's right. In Canada, no respect for the country that they call home, that they want to arrive to. They're not going through the regular channels. No, forget that. It ain't about the Indian doctors or the Indian engineers or immigrants that are bringing some kind of value to the country anymore. Now it's all about, hey, paying immigrant consultants, paying scammers. I think in the States they call them coyotes or something that help them get across the border. I don't know. I'm not from the States. Point is, they're doing the same thing over here and they're getting in. And we are all the worse for it. We got my buddy Darshan Maharaja and he puts up this amazing post. Canada to USA, same day reach. Same day reach? How are you doing the same day reach? Plus 91, that's an India area code. So there's the number right there. One hour, 10 minutes, the game. The game, Bilkul safe. Bilkul safe, Bilkul. And I know a little bit of, I could kind of understand. So I've got some broken Indian languages. Just, I mean, it's like my third language, right? It's all broken. If I'm drinking, I speak a little better. But Bilkul safe. That means absolutely safe. That's what Bilkul means right there. India to USA, 45 lakh. India to Europe, 12 lakh. What's a lakh? That's a 100,000, okay? That's 100,000 units. They don't go like tens, thousands, and then ten thousands, and then millions, and all the rest, 100,000 millions. They go into 100,000, so a lakh is 100,000. India to Canada, that's what we're talking about. 20 lakh, 20 lakh rupees. Well, what is that? All right, so 20 lakh rupees right here. It tells you 32,000 Canadian dollars. Okay, hmm, what does that mean? Bringing it back to Darshan. So Darshan, he writes, people in India are openly advertising illegal migration services. That's right, they're openly advertising it. The rate for coming from India to Canada illegally is 33K. We just saw that. The rate for going illegally to the U.S. from Canada is 7.5K. So they get to the U.S. and come to Canada. Why would you come to Canada from the States, right, if you're an immigrant? I'll tell you why. Free stuff. That's right, free stuff. The two governments need a partner to shut this down. Now I'm just looking at these dudes. Look at these guys, man. That's a chill zone, right? That's a chill zone right there. All right, so I'm doing a little bit of research. What do I do? I go to Reddit NRI, NRI, non-resident Indian. What is a non-resident Indian? It's an Indian who doesn't live in India, okay? That's what they call Indians who move out of India. What do we got right here? Four months ago, how do you find companies that are willing to give you LMIA? We covered this last time, LMIA, Labor Market Impact Assessment. It's a form that businesses have to fill out to show that there are no Canadians who could do the work. You got to get an Indian. You got to get somebody else. Maybe a Filipino, right, if you're working at Wendy's. Maybe you got to get an Indian if you're working. No, Indians, Philip, Indians, Indians, Wendy's, Filipinos, A&W, sorry, Indians, Indians, Wendy's, Filipinos A and W. That's my experience. Your experience might differ. I like those onion rings that they get A and W. You know the onion rings? It's pretty tasty. I don't like their burgers. Wendy's. I like the sp spicy chicken sandwich. I'm getting off track. So how do you find these companies that are going to fill out this form? Right. That's what this guy's asking. I keep hearing of Indians getting a job in Canada through LMIAs. These fake forms. But these are very basic roles, like line cook, tailor, janitor. And that kind of goes back to the fact that even low-skilled jobs, they've opened up that tier four to everybody coming in. How are they able to do it so easily? I thought LMIA is meant for instances when a Canadian company cannot find a domestic worker to do the job, so they've got to hire a foreigner. Well, that's what I thought, too. Here, simple answer is money. LMIA has been the most easily abused process by both employers and people looking for shortcuts into the country. LMIA approved job offers are sold to people for a hefty sum, anywhere from 10K to 50K, so they can get either a closed work permit or increased scores to apply for PR. Now you look at that, and that's on an NRI forum, and the whole thread is like that. You do a little search, just type in Reddit, NRI, LMIA, or something like that, and you're going to get instances after instances. This is a known thing in Canada, right? You just pay for it and you get in. You get fake papers and they're coming in. It's not like the Indians used to come in back in the day. And I got to say, thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. I love you. All right, my dad, you know, he's gone now, but not forgotten. He had a really strong work ethic. If he could see me now, he'd say, son, you're a dumbass. That's what he'd say to me. But also, he would be like, man, at least you're doing stuff and you're pushing. I know he'd be proud of me. Maybe kind of, sort of. I hope so. But I'll tell you one thing, my dad had a work ethic, all right? He came here as an engineer from England. I was born in England, eight months old when my parents brought me here. 
they had education my mother chemistry teacher my father an engineer masters actually he was one of the guys who coming up with the pixels the light pen and all that right he has his master's thesis was on that i'm a computer programmer thanks dad 24 plus years professionally programming also doing comic books but i'm just saying what i'm trying to say here is that they had skills now who are we getting in who are we getting in listen i got no problem I was talking to my buddy gat the guy right he wrote the book racist angel I got those books over here. I'll show them to you in a second. But he was telling me about it. He had a doctor, Dr. Patel, growing up in Ohio. He's an American. And, man, ain't nobody had a problem with Dr. Patel because Dr. Patel would fix you up right there and then. But now who are we getting? Are we getting Dr. Patels or are we getting people who are scamming the system? And then you wonder why our own people here are upset. And we are not racist. We've never been racist. Canadians have never been racist but I'll tell you what, I feel a little twinge, you know what I mean? Just a twinkle in my pants. Makes me want to dance. This is the reason I put together the book, Racist Angel. There's a reason for it, and I'll tell you why. Because we can't say what we want to say. Comedy even is dead. Nobody can even make jokes anymore. All right, so I'm bringing it back with this comic book. You check it out, raceangel.com. Check it out. Take a look. We have no pressure to buy, but take a look. I'm telling you, you're going to like what you see. My daughter did the cover. Okay, one of the covers over there, you check that out. And also, I got fantastic colors and letters from her. She's doing the lettering and doing digital art. I love it. Family business, um, Canadian. And it's even printed, by the way, in the States, okay? I only print in the States, Canada, as well as the UK. There's only three countries that I print my books in. I just don't want to give money to China, right? I just don't do that. That's my personal opinion. If you're Chinese, um, I love wontons. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe to RowanCensor.com. Check out RacistAngel.com. And thanks so much for your time.